How's it going fellow Hearthstoners? My name is Christophe Soros and today we're going to be checking out the Bronze Agers Mid-Range TDG, TGT Tempo Hunter deck. So we're going to go ahead and see we're against a Priest. So yeah, we'll definitely keep the Elephant. And it's okay. Um, even though these are more late game, they should be pretty difficult for him to deal with. So still okay with this. Uh, it's actually a pretty good drop. I think we'll go ahead and coin this out so we can get early aggression. Aw, oh, man. That sucks. So he has an Azur Drake. Huh, interesting. So he can have a Power Word Shield here. That's okay. We just want to get damage on this. So even if he Power Word Shield, we should be able to kill it by next turn. Oh, it's Holy Smite, never mind. <laughs> Psych. Alright. Well, that was kind of weird. Didn't really expect him to have that, so. That's okay, though. So we got two high mains. Yeah, I guess the coin would have been nice for us. Maybe we should have saved it. I just wanted to be super aggressive, but maybe that was the wrong play. So hopefully we get a nice drop here. And we did not. Um, hmm. I guess we'll just keep hero powering. I guess we could have played the freezing trap. Uh, do we play this naked though? Maybe. Depending on what he plays, I guess. Alien's chosen. Alright, so yeah, we probably should have dropped the trap then. Alright, well, we'll definitely drop it this turn. That's faux show. So this is going really slow. Like, good thing we have, like, um, we have both high mains in our hands, so. This would be hilarious if this was, like, Snake Trap or something. <laughs> and he just didn't attack because he thought I was freezing. So hilarious. He's gonna assume though that it's probably freezing. Just because Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Um just because we haven't really played anything, so. Alright, we'll just go ahead and do this. So unfortunately he had a cheaper drop. And now he can even just play this again, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. So if we need to, we can like unleash the Hound's Animal Companion. Okay. So he knows our secret. He knows the secret. Could even just high main and then uh, Hound Master Companion next the turn after. Oh, I was actually going to kill it. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um. Hmm. I think we'll just high main. See here, he can end up um, just trading and then healing, getting cards, things like that, but I think that's still okay for us. Um, uh, it really just depends. <laughs> LOL. Okay. I guess I kind of expected him to play something else, like another minion, but fortunately he had the Holy Nova. We're still okay, though. Ooh. Oh, whoops, there. Nice. So hopefully we can generate some good beasts off this. And hopefully he doesn't have Cabal. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Alright, so now we'll get some Unleash the Hounds value, I guess. Which would be kind of nice. Z Resident Sleeper. I don't see why. It's pretty obvious you should go face here. <laughs> like, I don't really get why it has to be like. Ooh. A super big thought process. Misha, the worst one. <laughs> Guess we could just kill command that. So hopefully he doesn't run two Holy Novas. That'd make us a little bit sad. I think Dragon Priest is actually... Well, we had a pretty bad start too. And we lost the uh, Joust or whatever with um, the Azur Drake, which was pretty unfortunate. But I guess there was a decent chance that we would have lost because he probably has like Ysera or something in his deck. <laughs> I don't care. I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna win. Like, he has five cards. I know he has a dragon in his hand. It's like pretty strong right now. He has second holy now, but that's really bad. Okay, that's fine. Does that have anything else? Really? Oh, okay. Huh. Okay. Ooh, their kill command. <laughs> LOL. Red scale, yes, dude. We got legendary boys. This is the best card. We actually might be able to get value out of this. Might not be too bad. Hmm, he must have spells in his hand. Or he's worried about us. Uh... Hmm. Or he's worried about us having like Hunter's Mark or something. Hopefully, we can get it. Oh my gosh, the tie again. GG, boys. Well, dang. Hmm. I think we'll just go face. Whatever. YOLO. Go full YOLO, boys. We're not going to win, just like, I mean, I guess we could trade, but if we kill this, this is going to be a 3-8, right? Yeah, it's going to be a 3-8, and I don't really want to deal with that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Hopefully it doesn't have Holy Nova. Okay, cool. Sweet. And he thought it was Freezing Trap. Could be Bear Trap, too. He doesn't know for sure what it is. So he does have a bit, yeah, he's got a dragon in his hand. I wonder, wonder what dragon it is. Hmm.
Alright, so hopefully it doesn't have Shadow Word Death. We should be fine, I think. The end of your turn, deal one damage to all other minions. It's a 4-3, four, or 4-2 four, for 3. I'm so confused at what his hand is. Like, I'm so confused. He's going to heal first? Hmm. Oh, light bombs. Okay. Well, that works, too. Attack me. Attack me. He knows it's explosive, so he probably won't attack. Yeah. Nice. That's cute. I was hoping for a... Shredder, maybe? But this is actually better, so... Or Boom. I guess Boom could work, too. Hmm. So if he has no taunt, then should be pretty good. He's already oh yeah, he already used both Twilight Guardians, so I don't think yeah, Dragon Priest doesn't run Belchers. So I don't think he has any more taunts. Oh yeah, he also got rid of at least one of those Worm Crest guys or whatever. Oh, he's finally dropping a Sarah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we win. <laughs> well played. Swag. BM, boys. Piggy. Sweet. Alrighty, up against the Paladin. I think we will actually keep this entire hand. <laughs> because, um... If he's, like, the token Secrets Paladin... Then Alicia Hound should be good. Animal Companions, one of our one of the strongest three drops in the game. And obviously we want Mad Scientist. So I think this is fine. If he coins out Minibot, uh, might kinda suck. But it looks like he did not decide to do that, so that's kinda good. Um and we actually have uh, Animal Companion three and four and then five follow up. So that shouldn't be bad, even though we're not gonna be using all the mana on turn four. Should still be fine. Um, now the problem is here is if we get a Huffer. So we did get the Huffer. Um, I think that we probably will trade this because we want to get, um, we want to maintain the board, so. Um, this is a pretty nice, I kind of actually wish that we had the coin, because then we could coin out this guy next turn if we did, but, ah, sad day. Alright, so we'll just make another animal companion. Leoc? Oh, Misha, nice. Piggy, one, two, piggy, dude. Aww. Dang, now we're not gonna have a beast on board. Actually, it really sucks. True silver OP. So it looks like he might. I'm guessing he's more mid range. So we'll just drop the tiger. Um. So we're automatically gonna get this no matter what, even if he kills this like a quality consecrate, but I highly doubt he's gonna do that here. That'd be really weird. That's a pretty good play though. Might even have to unleash the hounds actually. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's a smarter play. Unleash the hounds. Um Could just clear his whole board. Double unleash. <laughs> we'll just hit with the tiger. Because he can't kill it with the true silver. So that was a pretty good drop. And yeah, and we're still not looking too bad because we can still even uh, ram Wrangler and Web Spinner. Even if he kills both of these, so. Like, he could Consecrate here and attack in. I guess that's an option. Which it looks like he's probably going to do that. Oh, Argus. Okay. Um, hmm. Interesting. He didn't want to attack at all. Oh, Lotheb is really nice, though, too. Keeps him from clearing our board. 
think I'm actually going to do that instead. So now he can't completely clear our board. Well, actually I guess it's not super good. Well, he can attack into that, that's fine. But he won't be able to kill all of our minions. He has another Argus, it's pretty annoying. Dang. Okay. Maybe that was a misplay. Well, dang. Hmm. Elephant? Ah. <sighs> no. Dang. Okay, um... I guess we'll just go ahead and play all these. Nice. <laughs> okay. We'll just kill the bigger taunt. Um, if he has Consecrate, I think we probably lose. Oh, it's Tyrion. That's pretty bad too, though. Oh no. I guess at least we have Kill Command? At least he's not going to kill our board. We have a chance to do something next turn, too. Um, what is he doing? That thinking, though. Do it. Do it. Do it. Right here. Attack right here. This one. Right here. This one. Coin secret? Oh, Zombie Chow. Okay. Oh yeah, that's acceptable. Tall Strider? Okay. Ooh, Bow. Bow's probably pretty good, too. Um, yeah. Go ahead and tag into this. Right this guy. Right this guy. Tag here. Drop this and put that. All right, so I guess he can lay on hands. He can consecrate. I mean, there's really a lot of things he can do here. Talking to here. Yep. He's gonna lay on hands. Yeah. Hmm. Unfortunately, we haven't had any of our secrets used. Him dropping that owl was pretty good. Hunter's Mark, pretty useless. Well, unfortunately, we haven't drawn high main either. So, yeah, this is a really bad draw. Ah, hopefully we get high main, because we have two high mains in our deck. Nice, Houndmaster. Sweet, that was really good. Because now he kind of like all in on that. So now if we draw a beast, I think we're going to win. Unless if he has a taunt. Oh, he's a consecrate. Okay. Okay. Well, even if we if we get a beast, we win. So, top deck? Nope. Oh, well, that's dumb. Hmm, can we win the joust again? Oh wait, do we have enough damage to kill him? Oh yeah, we do. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Whoops, I like I was thinking about it. It's up against a druid. Go ahead and keep the web spinner, obviously. Oh nice, we got one, two, three. It's really good. One, two, three. And they're in order too. Um, Unleash the Hounds isn't going to be as useful for us, unfortunately, in this matchup. So, a little bit sad to see that, but that's okay. That's actually kind of annoying. That's really annoying. So now he can drop a 3-drop. The good news is, is he won't be able to drop a 4-drop, at least. And next turn he'll end up having to drop another 3. Oh, okay, never mind, he's innervating. Druid of the Claw? Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, that's bad. Hmm. Not sure what we do here. 
I guess we just attack here. See what we get. Explosive? Okay, that's what I was kind of hoping for. Um, I guess we could just attack into it. Yeah, that's fine. We don't want to waste Unleashed Hounds, I guess. Take four damage to the face, unfortunately, but that's okay. So, we got pretty lucky getting that explosive. That's what I was shooting for, but yeah. So now he's only able to play a three mana card. He should have dropped a card before. So that was a misplay by him. And now we get Shredder on the board, so pretty cool. We'll just hold on to the charges, because I highly doubt that he has an Ooze or a Harrison, because not very many people are playing that in the meta right now. If he does, we kind of get destroyed. But we'll probably attack next turn no matter what, um, in case he does have Harrison. But most likely he doesn't have it in this deck. And next turn we might even use Kodo, so it's pretty nice. I mean, could even Elephant, depending on what he plays. We could get Elephant um, Unleash combo if we attack into here. So. <laughs> they all have like high, high cost minions. I guess he did kind of get screwed there with the uh, innervate, innervating out the Drew of the Claw. Like maybe he just has a whole bunch of late game cards or something. I don't know. Maybe he has a Wrath. Wow. If he had a Wrath, I don't know why it took him that long, but. Nice. That's pretty good. Ah, oh, so he didn't play anything else. <laughs> okay. Um, not even sure if I should Kodo that. I mean, I guess I could for Tempo. I don't even know, man. Do we just Kodo, or... I guess we just Kodo. I know this looks really bad, but I'm just going <laughs> to attack into it. Value, yes. We did it. Yeah, because I don't think there's going to be... Oh, wait, we could kill Keeper of the Grove, I guess. Is he going to swipe that, really? Hmm. Does he have an Innervate? Unless the top deck to Innervate. No? Okay. Maybe he has another swipe, I guess. Ooh, that's pretty good, though. Um, Actually, let's Elephant first. See what we get. Hopefully we win the Joust. Oh, Ancient of Lore. Poo. Alright, that's alright. Mm, yeah. So he can swipe again, but only these two will die. So I think we won. Basically. Ooh, high main. Let's see, 8, 11, yeah. We'll just drop high main. I think that's the pretty obvious play here. Actually, we can just stack into this, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's pretty much over. Sweet. Did we win streak into five? Nice. Oh yeah. Time to go over that deck list. Oh, so nice. Got our chest going too. Oh, nice. So uh, yeah, this is a uh, mid-range tempo hunter, uh, TGT. Pretty nice. The first one that we've seen, or at least that I've seen. Oh, hey, there's a power shot in this. I actually forgot that power shot was in here because I didn't get to really play it, unfortunately, at all. But, uh, yeah, the double Houndmaster, the double Ram Wrangler. Dude, all those beasts, yo. Again, all that beast synergy going. Um, I think pretty much most of these cards are self-explanatory in the deck. Um, and I think that the Elephant, even though it's... You might lose your joust a fair amount of the time um even though in this deck i mean we have a lot of four to seven drops in here so it's not necessarily as far as minions go because this is this isn't even a minion um we only have one scientist we have web spinner that's the really the only minion lower than this and then all the other things are spells so basically all of our minions are above four which is really nice um 
really solid deck, I think. I definitely could imagine seeing this uh, hit Legend for sure, which Midrange Hunter has just always been strong in my mind anyways, so really nice with the explosive and the freezing. I think that this is the combination that I like the most, and maybe even Snakes at some point, but I think right now the explosive with the double freezing is probably the best. So yeah, I just really like this deck, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more good content by Christosaurus, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That'd be great. And like always, thanks for watching, and I'll put the deck in the description below for those watching through YouTube. And I will see you in another video. Peace out.